Hello everybody, this is Simeon Jonski again. Today I'm showing you how to do lightning in your rec room setting uh, in an easy way without circuits or anything. So let's go for it. So let's show you some easy lightning options that you have in rec room. So this is my normal room. It's a normal lighting as you see, normal area. So how do I change my basic lighting setting of this room. Super easy, you go to settings, go to subrooms, and then you find the room you're in. I now call it light, you're here, it's, it's written here, and you go to this. You can change a lot of things, but what you can easily change is subroom mood. Let's see, I can use different preset lightings here already. This will change the background and this will change the atmosphere of this room. Let's do it spooky night for now, for example, for cozy suns. Well, let's do a night, uh, let's do wild night. So as you see here, in this room there's already lighting. You already have these lights over there. I don't want these for now, I will delete them, so I have the normal setting. Okay, so if you want to do some lighting, oh, don't forget to save after you're finished. And that's it, you have to uh, apply the setting now and have this more dark mode. Now, so if you want to put in some lights, it's super easy. Just go to your palette, type in light. And then you have some different light types. I would suggest you, I'm normally using the point light, but there's also a dome light and a spotlight. Don't use the legacy tabs anymore. So I will spawn in all of these now. Let's put a dome here. Let's put a point here. And let's put a spot here. So what these guys do, actually, don't look at the circuit board for now, this will be uh, coming up in another tutorial. Um, this is going like this, like a dome of course, this is going just around the area where it is, and this is going right on the spot it's pointing at. And basically the settings for all of these are kind of the same. So I will just go through them really quickly. You can click on them and then go to the config tab and then change all your settings you have. You can turn them on and off. But of course, we want to turn them on. You can set the intensity. Just play around with this. Oh, let's turn this around for now. So we can see what's happening because it's, it doesn't have a reflection zone right now here. Also this. Ah, great. This is going directly to the wall. And as you can see, here, the intensity just shows how bright it is and then in, in affects everything that is between this. And we can have the range, how far it's going. So if you have a really small range, it will just stop. This is uh, not normal for light, of course, that it stops, but here it stops after a while. So you have to set a range, how far it will go. Inspect your comp contribution. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's how different uh, light sources will mix in the end. Or add up. Like if two lights are in one spot, they will become more light. And the angle, this is how far it will go. Yeah, this is what you can do with the dome light. Softness, you can make it uh, very soft. So you have very, very... Uh, soft shadows we can make it really hard so it's really it, it produces really hard shadows you can think sink it or not that's already it and you can set a different uh, a color like you can make it a red light and so it's red so point light actually has the same options a little bit less so the range is just, you can go far, so the whole, whole room will be lit, just a little bit. 
you can see what it does here in density. Just how bright it is. And also change the color here. Say we make it yellow, for example. Easy. So I would normally mostly use the point light or maybe the dome light to put it in, in the top of your room. And, and I normally play also a lot with the color, different colors for mood. So in the spotlight, it would be actually basically the same. But it's more, it's more like a spot, you can see it's more spot on. So it's actually not much different from the dome light. It's, it's more, more spotty, so to speak. It's more directional in a way. Yeah, it's not much different from a dome light actually. It's almost the same. That this you can use to have a spot on some person or some object or something like this. So, yeah, that's how you basically do lighting. And then you can just uh, move the lights wherever you want them in your room. Like, for example, move this to a corner. You can have more than one light here. I have, uh, for example, have one light of this in every corner. Maybe change the color here. Let's make it a green light in this corner. This is, of course, super bright now. <laughs> but, yeah. But this is basically how you can set the lighting atmosphere in your room, which makes it, especially if you have a night uh, map like this, on the day it doesn't change much. So on the day there's already a lot of light. Uh, but especially for a night map like this, it's super helpful to have these little lights. You could also have street lanterns and put a, a lamp in every, uh, every one of them and not make it that bright. Something like this. So you can be creative with that. Thank you guys for watching again. As always, like and subscribe and visit my extra room that I built to show off the things that you can do and to give you a little bit insight, especially when the circuits come up, that you can just check out, make a selfie, post it, whatever. And uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.